The best powder for oily skin, hands down. Nothing, nothing beats it. Just nothing beats it, sorry. You can see I've got Nikki LaRose here, my Hi. makeup artist and my friend. Aww. And that means that we're gonna talk about makeup. Ooh. Today, we're gonna talk about makeup for oily skin. Mm -hmm. This is a question I get all the time. People are always like, what makeup should I be using for my oily skin? Whether it's a foundation, a concealer, a bronzer, yeah. all of it, right? I'm constantly thinking, I don't know. I don't know. Well, first off, I have dry skin, which we will cover in a separate video. That's yes. going to be the other. Uh, and I other. have oily. Yeah. And she has oily skin. So I felt like the best way to do this was to bring on the pro. Yeah. Let's who actually deals products. with people who have these skin types. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I think we should address is how do you know if you have oily skin? If you wash your face and then you just let it be, don't put any products on your face for about 15, 20 minutes or so. Some people say 30 minutes. And then you see how your skin just naturally balances itself. Right? If you naturally get oily in your T-zone area after cleansing and not putting anything on your face, then you have true oily skin. If you have true oily skin, these are the products for you. Yeah. Let's start with the basics. Let's start with the primer. One of the best primers actually on the market for mattifying. I learned this through doing actually men's grooming. Right. So for TV, they want men to be so matte. <laughs> Like not That's an so ounce funny. of shine. So in my experience, what I have learned to be one of the best products, I've used so many, but one that I keep going back to is the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. Oh, okay. It is a solid, solid mattifying base. And then you could apply a thin layer. You don't even need a ton of it. Just apply a thin layer and then you apply your foundations or your powders on top of that. But that really does help to be your good first solid base mm. to keep that oil at bay. Okay. So that way, when you're touching up throughout the day, you don't need to touch up as much because that primer is going to really, really keep that oil to a minimum. So another product that I actually just recently discovered, and it took me a minute to actually like try it out. And once I did, I put it in my kit. It's the Splash Zone Oil-Free Hydrating Primer from EXA. EXA is a newer brand. I want to say they're an indie brand. Mm. They're, they're pretty new. I see. I actually love their foundation as well. But so the reason why I like this is it doubles for me in my makeup kit. It doubles for me as a skin prep and a primer for my oily skin clients. This is nice. It's really nice. I would put this on my skin. Oh, absolutely. And you know, this is a universal product for a normal combination, combination oily, combination dry. This is a really great product. Because it has a little bit of good, moisture right? to it. Yes, like it, just enough. It feels like it's nourishing and it has a grip to it, like a sticky. It does, yeah. And yeah. it's not so heavy. But not heavy. super sticky. No, and it's not so heavy that your makeup just sticks to it right away. You could still blend your product out. This is nice. It's really nice. I like nice. the way it made my hand feel. It's a great product. It's really straightforward. It gets the job done and it gets you thoroughly prepped for your, the rest of your makeup application. Now, speaking of prep, what I really like to do, this is the mini, but because I'm running out of room in my kit, but this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's the party all night, stay all day setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. This is a game changer. So what I love to do is use this twice for oily skin. And then to finish your makeup, it won't move. It's a holy grail. That's how she primes the oily skin. Yes, I've learned the hard way. Less is more with oily skin. Keep it minimal. So moving on to foundation, your next part would be naturally put your foundation on. These two really do stand out to me because of the way they look on your skin. They look really healthy. They look more skin-like. They don't look like a heavy, overly powdery, overly thick full coverage foundation. These just look beautiful on the skin. It's the Dior Backstage Face and Body. This is a very universal foundation depending yeah. on how you prep your skin. Because I love that stuff too. Yes, but granted, Susan also, we also thoroughly prep your skin with lots of hydration and lots of moisture. So when this goes on top of her skin, it actually looks really glowy. Now, if you put this on top of more of a mattifying primer or this primer, for example, it's going to lay on your skin in a more matte and more like soft way. It's kind of mm -hmm. a soft matte finish, which is beautiful. So this is actually a waterproof formula and I have tested this out. It's also sweat resistant. And I've also tested that out. I work with a lot of fitness trainers that do programs. Oh, that's right. That's right. And yeah. this does not, you can, the sweat does not break through as easily. Now makeup is not magic, right? <laughs> You know, there's always going to be instances where it's going to come through and oil is going to break through. But yeah. this is a great formula if you do have oilier skin. I love to apply this with either, if I want more of a natural coverage for oily skin, I'll apply it with a damp, like slightly damp beauty sponge and I'll tap it in. That'll give me a really nice, even coverage. 
or if I want it to be a little more buffed out and thinned out, I'll apply with a bigger blending brush. So you just get so many different options with this. It's completely buildable. You can build up to be a extremely full coverage, which I love, and it wears so long. So just to you know give you a little run through, you wanna stay away from formulas that say glowy, radiant. Those are not gonna be your best friend if you're trying They're to combat. Yeah, if you're trying to go with your glow, buy them, absolutely. But if you're trying to mattify your skin and keep that oil at bay, you wanna stay away from keywords in your foundation like those. So instead you wanna find things that say matte, even just satin is gonna work really well too if you prime your skin the right way. 24 hour, you know, long wear, forever, all those keywords, look for those. Yep. That's gonna be the formula that you're gonna to wanna to choose. So this is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation from NARS. I actually didn't like this at first. Oh, you did it? I did not like this at first. I wrote it off. I tried it like maybe, oh, I tried it like two times. I should have given it a better try. But then I finally went back to it and I'm so wowed by this foundation. This has a beautiful blurring effect. It still looks like skin, but it gives you a full coverage like almost instantly. Yep. I still think you can cheer this out too and make it look a lot more natural than it says it's going to I give actually, you. I actually, I've used this foundation. Right? Remember when I got it? I got this in PR actually. Yeah. And, and I found it to be a really nice foundation. It didn't become my go-to foundation, but I found it to be a nice foundation. It's really nice. And for oily skin types, it's gonna be a great formula for you. So that, those are just two formulas that I just know work so well and just look beautiful on more oily skin. Okay, moving on to concealer. Concealer. So two concealers that stand out to me the most for oily skin types are the Soft Matte. This is a phenomenal. You love this. I love this concealer so much. And I actually, I've used, I use it on drier skin too. She is If I me. prep them, right. But in different ways too though. In different ways, like I'll so spot I feel like conceal. You do it on, yeah, you do it yes. on my eyes and stuff too. This is not, you know, don't be afraid that it says soft matte. Like if you're, you know, not wanting a heavy concealer, this doesn't feel heavy at all. This just gives a beautiful finish, but on oily skin, especially, it's going to lay beautifully on your skin. It's extremely long wearing. You can set it, you can move it around, you can manipulate, you can do so many things with this. It is just a great, great formula, but the way I love to use it specifically is to spot conceal for more oily skin. You can use it under the eye. I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of formula under the eyes because it just tends to crease because it's a thicker formula and doesn't dry down, but you can use it there. It's totally fine there. But all in all, this is just a great, great formula. If you're looking for an overall spot concealer for oily skin, this is absolutely the one. The next concealer would be more for under your eyes. It's a liquid concealer. This is a really old school product, but I had to include it because it's tried and true. It's tried and true. It's been around for a really, really long time. It's been around since like my MAC days, like a while ago. And it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is a waterproof, sweatproof, all day wear. Even though you wouldn't want to wear it all like 24 hours a day, but it's gonna stay put. It's extremely high coverage. It comes in a pump. So you just like pump out a tiny, tiny bit. You need the tiniest bit of this. It's crazy how much coverage you get and how mm. much you can blend it out and really like manipulate it. But this is amazing. And even if you bring it around your T-zone, like let's say you want extra coverage like in your T-zone, this will help to smooth your skin and it will help to combat shine so much. Okay, so let's talk about powders. And this is probably the moment you've all been waiting for if you're an oily skin person. So the powder that did change my life in my early 20s, I my sister had a sample size of this powder. And this is actually the mini, because again, I keep it in my kit. I don't use it every single client. So my sister had a travel or little sample size that she had gotten from like Sephora. What is it? The Makeup, Makeup Forever. Forever and I stole it from her because she never used it. And I saw it seen in her bathroom. And so I'm like, she never uses it. I'm gonna try it. Makeup Forever Ultra HD. The best powder for oily skin. Hands down, nothing, nothing beats it. Just nothing beats it, sorry. For oily skin, this is the only powder that's going to keep you matte the longest. I see. So this is gonna be like your longevity, like you put it on once, and it's gonna really control and combat that oil the longest, for like the longest period of time. So that's why it's a holy grail. So this never, I've never seen you pull this out for me. No, it's not. As a dry skin no. girl. Listen, if I was trying to like blur a specific spot, cause this is also very blurring. This will give you a very like airbrushed finish. You have to use it properly. You mm -hmm. cannot bake with it. You can't deposit too much on your face. You'll get extreme flashback with mm. this if you're not careful. It's very old school. It's a very pro product, but it is just phenomenal. So if you have really oily skin and you wanna just get one finishing powder, 
This is really all you need. Dust it on, get your entire face, get your tees on a little extra, you are good to go. From there, would you put that on with a powder puff? No. No, okay. this is not a powder puff formula. This is a brush, dust it all over, work it into your skin, get your entire face, or you know, if you're only getting oily in the T-zone, get just your T-zone, but typically oily skin people get oily everywhere. I do, anyway. Mm -hmm. Get it all over, do not apply this with a powder puff, this is not that kind of formula. And then you should be good to go. So that would be like your first step. But then when you're on the go, mm -hmm. this is a newer product that I have been hooked on. This is something I keep in that bag because it's just amazing for blotting. So this mm -hmm. is a blot powder, it's the Fenty Beauty Invisimax powder. So it's a pressed powder, take a powder puff and then just gently blot the areas where you get shine throughout the day. This is amazing. It's completely colorless, anybody can use it and it doesn't feel heavy on your skin and it will do a great job of soaking up that excess oil. It doesn't have any like shine to it or like a- No, completely luminescent. invisible. Okay. Unless you overdo it, but it right. should be completely invisible. A newer powder that came out recently that I really had to mention because I think it's a really great product. It's the Soft Matte Powder from NARS. It's from that same collection of soft mattes. This is a slightly more translucent powder. It does have a little color to it. I have the shade Creek, but this is a really great mattifying powder that's in a press form, so it's easy for on the go, but it also gives you like a little hint of coverage because it does have that color in it. Mm, so okay. this is a great honorable mention. Okay. Now the last powder in this list of powders for oily skin is one of my all time favorites. It's the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. They have tons of shades. They have every shade you would ever need, which is amazing. This formula is like an Instagram filter instantly. This will instantly filter your skin. It will absolutely smooth the look of fine lines. It will smooth texture in your skin, large yeah. pores, all those things will be pretty much like obsolete. And I'm, I'm nodding my head a lot. You know this powder is amazing. And I see her using these products all the time, whether I'm yeah. producing something and she's the makeup artist on set or she's using it on me or she's using it on talent that are gonna be on camera with yeah. me, like a dermatologist that's joining or something. I'll see her pull these products yeah. out. This is absolutely a product I've seen in her kit for It's a years. really great product. Dry skin people can use this as well, depending on how they're prepping their skin and what products are underneath. But I have noticed just in my experience that for oily skin, this is a amazing formula. Okay, last, last on category. This list. Yeah. yeah. Because other like all the other makeup products, eyeshadow, lipsticks, all that. It's universal. Anybody yeah. can use it. These are just like the standout products that I just know work incredibly well for oily skin. Okay. So I do want to talk about blush because Blush is one of those products that if you don't get the right formula for your skin, it can really make a big difference. Yeah. So I have two formulas. I have a powder and I have a cream. Believe it or not, oily skin people can use cream. The only one that I have tried that I really do stand by for oily skin that I have seen perform really, really well is the Fenty Cream. These grip onto your skin and they stay put. They don't run super shiny. Like they go on shiny because they're a cream but they have like a satiny finish to them, mm. which works really well for oily skin. So if you're someone out there who's always shied away from using a cream blush because you think it's gonna add to that oil and that shine that you don't want, don't be afraid, try this formula. I would be shocked if it didn't work for you. I really would because I use this in my makeup kit, this formula on so many oily skin clients and it looks beautiful. And not only that, it wears a really, really long time. So how would you apply it? with a stippling brush. I would never use my fingers. <laughs> she just use? wouldn't at all, but I Not think for oily skin, even oily worse. Skin. Yeah. You wanna keep the oils on your fingers, keep them off your face, just, just do it. But what works really well for this formula and for oily skin is more of like a round brush or like a stippling brush, something that's a little more dense, but has like some fluff to it, that what you would do or what I'd suggest you do is tap into the product and then tap it onto the skin. Don't over buff, don't disrupt that makeup that's underneath and just tap it on, press it onto the skin and you're good to go. The next one on my list is a powder blush, which you would think, of course, like for oily skin, of course, you're gonna gravitate towards powder blushes. I know from experience, I would never use cream blushes on my oily skin because I didn't want to add shine. But this powder blush, there are so many good powder blushes, but this one in particular is a newer one. It's from the brand Make, it's the Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Blush. They have beautiful shades. This blush is incredibly long wearing. I have found mm. that it works so well with, with oily skin. 
also textured skin. If you have skin texture, yeah, this works so well. It looks very smooth, very beautiful on the skin. It doesn't look like a powdery, chalky kind of blush, you know, like uh -huh. that old school kind of powdery blush. Yep. This looks more satiny and more like just what more skin like. So pretty. So I, this I is do a great like this. formula. It's great. so pretty. Yeah. And dry, don't be afraid. Dry skin people can use this too. Well, that was helpful. Honestly, I would have. You know, I wouldn't. I would have never <laughs> suggested these products because I basically don't use any of these products. I use a couple. I think I use these two products yeah. are the only two products that I've actually used. Oh, no, no, no. And the Dior. And the Dior. I would use on me. But other than that, I've never ever used any of the other products on my own skin. Yeah, I'm... And even the way this is used on me is in a completely different way. Yeah, that's true. So, it's so just good to know. You know, and I work on so many people, you know, I see so many different faces, I get to touch so many different faces. And so these are just products that I know work incredibly well for oily skin. And for me personally too, I'm an Love oily it. skin girl. <laughs> Super helpful. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thanks for having me. If you guys want, you can go follow Nikki on her own YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below along with all her other social media. I'm on social media at Susan Yara. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Yes. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.